Um, I'm actually going to turn it over to Clem uh, to present this year's Loink Award for Distinguished Contributions. And Clem, I have your slides, so just let me know. I'll present them and just let me know when you want me to advance them, please. All right. Well, I'm uh, very pleased to describe the awardee and announce the award to uh, Zhang Lin. Uh, who's the, the word Lin in forest, and it, the word Lin in Chinese means forest, and he often goes by forest. And I had a little struggle last night trying to get the Chinese characters right out of his email. And my first attempt that what I pulled out was, this is the sender. <laughs> but I got some help from some of my Chinese colleagues. And those two little things that look like trees, that's forest. That's pretty cool, I think. Anyway. So let me go on. I'm going to first talk about the man, and then I'll de describe the award and uh, you will see it. So his background. So for decades, uh, Lynn worked in the nuclear medicine department <clears throat> of Beth Hune International Peace Hospital in Shichashuang, I think I got that right, a city in Hubei, Hubei province near Wuhan. During that time, he also developed his, all the, the loink work you're going to hear about, and he did this with the encouragement of his boss, uh, which, which I really should emphasize. So he's got a good boss. Now the photo on the right shows his hospital in a statue of Norman Bethune, after whom the hospital was named. Now Bethune, Norman Bethune is famous in China. He was a Canadian physician, but he cared for Red Army soldiers during the revolution. And I think they had three or four different Bethune hospitals named after him. Uh, so I've already talked about the, the forest business. Now he's been contributing mightily uh, since 2004, actually, actually before. He's a long superhero. We ought to give him a cape and some special suit who has accomplished prodigious feats. In 2004, he translated, or at least by then, the whole of the long table, which was close to 40,000 entries at that time. He translated them into simplified Chinese, which is a script that's used most commonly now uh, in China. Uh, still more, about a year later in 2005, China published a hardcover book that contained all 44,000 long terms that Lin had translated by then. Uh, this book was 3,000 pages long of sort of thin, very thin, lightweight paper, and it still weighed three pounds. I weighed it. I have one. So imagine the work that, was, that would have been required to write a 3,000 page book. Uh, he kept up with new entries and changes over 32 loink release cycles as the number of loink terms pushed past 90,000 this year. Uh, along the way, he also translated the loink user's guide, the Roma user's guide, the Yukum standard, all the loink parts and added Chinese synonyms to them. His work extended to all laboratories, all imaging studies, electrocardiograms, ophthalmologic studies, the LOINC document ontology, the commands in the LOINC browsing software, on the software, and just about everything except for survey instruments, which would have not been validated in a, language, in a Chinese language version. He also translated some of the hierarchies and did some other work, which we really haven't got in yet, because it's so hard to build all these things into, into the tooling. Link has become a family affair for Lynn. Now, Lynn, I hope I have this right. I, 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 I cribbed this off of some things I read. Uh, at the bottom of the first page of the 100, 100 plus page translation of the user's guide stands a formal credit to his wife by name for her important technical help and guidance in producing the document. Now, the only thing is, the name isn't exactly the same as his name, but I'm pretty sure I got that out of his email messages. So then you kind of have to correct me. Uh, next slide. So here is Loink, our Loink folk hero, when I first met him in China, and that is a, is a, a wall with uh, telling the history of China in Xi'an, which is uh, where all the, you know, those famous terracotta soldiers are. And, and, and Lin is uh, to the right. Uh, looking, looking uh, proud and happy. At that time, he had a little, and probably still does, but he had a, I don't want to say a team, he had some like-minded, aggressive computer-interested fellows with him. 
and uh, th they were having fun. Ne next slide. Uh, more recently, this is at the HL7 meeting in Beijing, and I show him smiling at his, uh, his smartphone, and then in a picture uh, with, with him to the uh, left, me in the middle, and I think that's his new boss uh, from an insurance Chinese insurance company on the left. And I did it in big, so you could see it was an HL7 meeting. And I wanted to bring up uh, <clears throat> for Lin, for Lin um, Lin's mentor was a, was a man named uh, Li Bao Lu, who also became a friend. He's a great man, and we lost him last year. <clears throat> but anyway, I wasn't going to show up. Well, anyway, I'll go into that. Um, so, Describe the award, the Lunk Award for Distinguished Contribution. That's the award that we're, Lynn is getting. The purpose is to honor an individual who has made sustained and enduring contributions that advance health data interoperability with LOINC. The criteria for the award, it recognizes exceptional and enduring actions, activities, and accomplishments that advance and promote LOINC and it's used to improve health. Now, I mean, he's done this in spades and 10 times over. So it, talk about deserving. Uh, a, a member of the LOINC community can be eligible for this award based on their thought leadership, success in implementation, promotion of awareness and adoption, education and or fostering cooperation and collaboration. Uh, so uh, to, to, to Jeanlene, we have, um, how are we going to do with this show and the award? I have a slide that shows it, but I had thought I heard something else was going to be cooked up. All right, there it is. Yeah, so, so here's a slide, and then um, April actually has the actual award. It just, we had trouble taking a picture of it, but I think April's going to show her screen, so I'm actually going to stop sharing at the moment. Okay. Here I am. Let's see. Is that, can you see better? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Little center to yeah, your right. To put My it right. In front of your face. Yeah. There we go. All right. So it's glass. Yes, it's very shiny. So we had some troubles taking good pictures of it. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. So, uh, so uh, Lin Zhang, you have had a deep, important, and an expansive influence on Loink, its evolution, and its international success. You are richly deserving of this award, and, and we, <clears throat> we all love you. Hello. I'm Forrest. Thanks, Dr. Clem. I'm so happy Dr. Clem said so much warm-hearted and encouraging um, greeting, and, and, and uh, uh, so happy here to meet you. Uh, well, since nineteen, uh, since two thousand and eighteen, I joined a uh, Taikang Insurance Group as a data analyst at uh, the big data department. Now we are building a terminology server um, based on Fire standard. Anyway. There is there is a pretty pretty long way to go ahead to achieve interoperability. Thank you all for help and assist. That's all. Thank you. We will we will keep helping and we keep cheering you on, Lynn. Uh, okay. And, you know, I've tried a bunch of times to get you over here in the U.S. for a presentation and talk about the work in China. And uh, in the past, you couldn't do it because of work constraints. Now you might have been able to do it. I was hoping we'd do it now, but then COVID got in the way. So, so mm -hmm. one day, this will happen. Looking forward. So thank you so much, Clement. Thank you so much, Lynn, for, uh, for everything that you've done and all of your support of LINK. And we, we really appreciate it and look forward to continuing to work with you. Um, now I'd like to turn it over to Dan Freeman to present our next award. And then after that, we will take a short 10-minute uh, break, probably. Uh, Dan, are you on? So, <laughs> so I'm on here. Great. 
Hello, Lug friends. Uh, it is my distinct privilege to announce to you the establishment of a new Loink Award that captures the spirit of Loink's central approach, which is to learn. The Loink way is to apply a learning mindset to every aspect of our work. And this new award not only recognizes its recipient's longstanding leadership, his contribution, uh, his commitment to lifelong learning and passion for mentoring, it also sets up opportunities for selected students and employees of nonprofits to be able to attend LOINC conferences with no registration fees. So it pays it forward, just like the awardee. So on behalf of the Reagan Street Institute and the LOINC community, I'm absolutely thrilled to present the 2020 LOINC Education Award to Stan Huff in recognition of his pioneering vision his enduring dedication to LOINC, um, and to mark the establishment of the Stanley M. Huff Education Award in your honor. Uh, congratulations, Stan, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> congratulations. So I know in these virtual conferences, it's a little bit more difficult for Stan to get the sense of community appreciation. So what I would like to do is to ask that if you have personally benefited from Stan's teaching, his mentorship or advice <laughs> like I have, um, that you take a few minutes today in between sessions, maybe uh, as we're switching gears, uh, to send him a note of thanks, um, to, to let him know um, in what way his, um, his generosity has uh, impacted you. But again, uh, my huge congratulations to Stan. Thank you. Well, thank you, thank you, Dan. It's uh, it's a great honor, uh, <laughs> and and I feel like I'm I'm cheating because uh, it's all been it's all been my pleasure. It's just been wonderful to work with such a wonderful group of people with with Clam and you and Swapna and uh, you know Gil Hill and. Uh, Ray Aller and George Demore, clear back in the day. Uh, John Hook, you know, who's technical, but has been an incredible resource. Uh, Susan Matney, who's been incredibly supportive and, and the clinical. And, you know, going back, Ted Klein, Sue Bach, and I mean, it's just been a wonderful community. And uh, I'm forgetting, uh, you know, a hundred other people that I've had a chance to, to work and learn from. Uh, I feel like I've been the beneficiary of all that, so it's uh, it's a great honor, and I'm I'm so grateful to you for uh, for this honor, and and grateful just to know you all and to participate, and so thank you very much. Thank you so much, Stan. Um, April, do you have Stan's award too? Can you show it? Certainly do. Let me also get the wow. glare from my screen there off. So we will be okay. mailing these Absolutely. out. And yes. hopefully we'll read you, read you in one piece. Yes. Thank you so much. Great. I love it. Thank I you, Stan. I assume have a way to ship those awards. Yes, yes. I'll be mailing them out and um, uh, bubble wrapped and styrofoamed and all <laughs> protected and because uh, um, they're, they're fragile. There's a glass front on there. So I want to make sure that they reach um, Lynn and Stan in one nice, pretty piece.